everyone, Robber here, and today I'm going to do a little how-to video on how to clean up, restore this cast iron skillet. This is my mom's cast iron skillet, and she tried to clean it up, and she has some sticky residue in there, so I'm going to have to clean it out, but she asked me to help her clean it out, and she suggested I make a video because it would be really suitable for the things that we're doing. So, of course, you cannot you know, deny mom, so here I am making this video. This skillet isn't very rusty. It's not in terrible shape. There's some rust on the back here, and there are some rust pockets underneath whatever she tried to use to clean this out. I've got my salt, my potato, vinegar, baking soda, steel wool pads, and steel brushes. So the first step is to scrub the rust off, and that's what I'm doing. Nice. Now, of course, I could use an electric um, scrub brush thing and put on that angle grinder, but I'm not going to use that right now. I'm going to try this um, manual stuff instead. I kind of like the steel wool better than that brush. Each hook came in and looked at my progress, and so we decided to go on to the vinegar and baking soda phase and then scrub it. I don't know, it looks like it's doing a much better job than the other things that I was using. So that's what I'm doing now. That's a lot of rust. Yes, this thing was much, this was in much worse shape than I thought. It's very rusty. There's a lot of hidden rust underneath that gun. So I guess I'm just gonna be scrubbing and scrubbing. So here's a little bit of a look at what I've been doing so far. I'm still scrubbing away. I could really probably make easy work of it if I use something mechanical, but I'm not. All right, everyone. I am finished cleaning this and I'm getting ready to season it. I basically alternated the vinegar, baking soda mixture, and then the coarse sea salt. And I just scrubbed and scrubbed it, mostly with this little bitty wire brush. And then I would alternate and use the um, steel wool. But I think it looks a lot better. The last time I put anything in it, there was no brown, rusty colored um, mixture coming off of it. So I think it looks pretty, pretty good. So now I'm going to season it and then hopefully it'll be all good to go. It looks pretty darn good, Rob. I think I did okay. You did a great job. Alrighty. Okay, so it took me about two hours to clean up this skillet. Egypt was teasing me about how I could have gone and bought a new pan for the time and labor that it cost me to clean this one up. But I'm really glad I did it by hand. It was a good, it was a good experience, a new experience. No one can ever accuse me of doing things smartly. So here is the final end result after I seasoned it and everything. So I'm pretty happy with the results. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Come back and see us again on some future adventures. Thanks a lot. Bye.